Hey there, Iditarod fans. It's time for yet another installment of Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady, where we look for the finest in reasonably priced Halloween masks. Uh, I'm Alfred E. Newman, and tonight's mask uh, came out in 2015, in time for the 2015 Halloween season, from the weirdos at Trick or Treat Studios. And it's this, this hideous, hideous, appalling monstrosity here, known as the quicksand zombie that's right or or the ec quicksand zombie now that's not because his name is mr ec quicksand no he's not edward charles quicksand and his tombstone says ec quicksand no that's not what actually his name was uh was uh, alexander weatherby uncle alex weatherby in the uh the origin story, which appeared in one of the famous EC comics of the 1950s, Hails from the Crypt. Okay, now let's just zoom in here on the drawing that inspired this mask. This was uh, originally drawn by very famous American artist Al Feldstein, an artist known for his very creative, uh, amazing, tremendously fun and scary and sometimes funny uh, work for Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror and Haunt of Fear, EC Comics, and um, uh, Mad Magazine later on. Did a lot of work for Mad Magazine. So there's the drawing of the zombie from the quicksand uh, escapade of Tales from the Crypt. And here you have the amazing mask, okay? An incredible simulation sculpted by the amazing and incredible Justin Mabry. Now again, this came out in time for the uh, 2015 Halloween season and I think it's one of the coolest masks of the year. It's uh, for $60 you get a lot of masks here. I did not do anything to touch up or enhance or improve or uh, you know customize this uh, paint job. This is how it came from uh, the factory which is pretty impressive I think. It's got a nice rub out going on and uh, you can see all the little lines, all the little tendons and veins and so forth and all the cracks and wrinkles that make uh, Uncle Alex Weatherby, the quicksand zombie, look very much like a comic book drawing come to life. Life? Okay, poor choice of words with life. Come to unlife. Come to afterlife. Anyway, 60 bucks and well worth it, I think. Very um, nice uh, uh, detailing all around. Plus, you can see how far it comes down here. Plenty of mask to tuck into your costume if you want to wear this to scare people at Halloween or any other time of year for that matter. I don't know when you like to scare people. Maybe you like to scare people on Valentine's Day. You could wear it for that, right? Uh, eye slits cut out where you would think they would be, which is where the uh, zombie's eyes would be if he had eyes. Little nostril holes cut out and a couple of little spaces in here to help you breathe uh, when you're wearing it. Little spaces between his very impressively painted and sculpted yellowed nasty uh, uh, sort of tarnished and yellowed and creepy looking stained ugly teeth that he has uh, which I, I guess um, probably looked that bad even before the quicksand thing happened to him but anyway one of the scariest and coolest masks I think of the uh, 2015 season the quicksand zombie from trick-or-treat studios join me again next time for a look at another horrible monstrosity to brighten up your days and frighten up your nights